Hi, fellow amateur radios. This is Oscar November 7, Oscar Fox Fox. I'll quickly go through the menus here to get this nice, beautiful background with the world map and also with the real time view of the gray line zone and uh, the uh, world with. Uh, where you can see where it's night and day. I got a lot of comments asking if this is real time and I confirm you it's real time. You can see that we just passed the uh, night time here so and it's already dark outside and uh, you can see on my screen indeed that Belgium where is my mouse right now is currently uh, in a dark zone. I'll try to keep the video short within seven or eight minutes uh, so I can explain you a couple of things um, currently, I am using version uh, 2.10.3.3, the HL version, because I'm using a Hermes radio. Uh, some people have been asking why I was using just a normal radio, uh, version, because I wanted to have that quick split. But now that we have this new version available, uh, I am currently using this HL2 version. I'll put the link in the description where you can download this version. And I also will put a dis in the descri description uh, the information about the cluster notes because we will go over this uh, uh, um, uh, this particular subject as well. So basically, uh, if you go to setup and uh, you go to uh, the appearance, um, one thing I can recommend is to go to skin servers and here you can actually refresh and you're able to download a couple of skins. Most of the skins are available on the website of W1AEX and if you go there and you click on refresh, now be, be careful, this particular tabulator in the settings is not available on previous versions. This is a new feature uh, in version uh, 2.10.3.3. I recommend to uh, download something like uh, Kilo 2 Golf X-Ray and when you click it you have to download it and uh, then you click on apply or whatever and then you need to go to general okay and I took the world blue here so and here I will take Kilo 2 Golf X-Ray world blue it's right here and uh, if I apply this new skin here, uh, you will see that I have got a background here of the world. Now, this is not the world map it will display when you want to have the gray line. It's going to overlay this particular uh, background here on the pan adapter and the waterfall uh, by the um, gray line zone because the map does have to fit with uh, where the gray lines actually displayed. So you get actually two different pictures on top of each other, layered on top of each other. So how do you get this uh, gray line information in the background? You click on spotting right here. And the first thing I can recommend, and this is why I'm going to leave you also a link uh, in the description of this video, where you can check which of the cluster nodes is the closest to your QTH. Uh, I took this one here. Uh, this particular cluster is located in Holland. I'm in Belgium and this is the one from Papa Alpha 4, Juliet Juliet. Um, so uh, you just have to double click and you replace the first line with the cluster that is closest to you that you can find in the uh, list of the link uh, uh, of the list of, of different uh, nodes. And uh, I suggest and I recommend to turn on reconnect on startup. This means that it will connect to the cluster automatically when you start up Tethys. Now I'm in Belgium, so I'm in Europe and I have the European spotters feature only turned on because I do not need the spots that are done by American stations. And uh, here you can decide whether you want the European spots or North American spots. Um, the next thing is that here you have to decide which kind of uh, spots that you want to have. And as you can see here, you see one spot right here already. Um, I just need the uh, phone spots because I'm not into CW nor I am in digital. And here it comes. This is how you can display this background with the gray line. Uh, turn on and off, track on. So let me just turn it on again. And uh, it would no it should normally display the gray line zone right here, as you can see right here. If it's not doing it, just click it uh, a few times, turn it on and turn it off and also turn on and off these features like sun tracking, gray line track 
and special pen file mode. The special pen file mode is actually going to display uh, the uh, uh, pen adapter bigger and uh, uh, that way you will be able to see on the waterfall on the smaller size you will be able to see the entire world map uh, correctly uh, to check where is a gray line zone. Um, I am not sure how VOC cap I need to figure it out myself as well. Um, I also have enabled these features here. Uh, I also recommend to click here for a second to use WWHF and click on time sync. So what it's going to do, it's going to change the frequency of your uh, receiver and it's going to try to find the uh, time server on the best uh, signal uh, frequency automatically and it's going to synchronize your time uh, here uh, at the bottom of your DT software. So it's handy, especially if you're doing also digital and you're into FD8. Um, so uh, also don't forget to type in your call sign uh, because uh, then you uh, can also uh, send spots, but I'll make a separate video regarding that particular feature and basically you're done. So uh, you have finished uh, setting up the um, gray line. Now, one thing, if you go to setup, you go to appearance and you go to our X display, uh, you're also able to intensify or dim or darken the gray line uh, background. So here you have gray line. And if I move this slider, it's supposed to do that. And of course, sometimes when you're doing this recording, it's not doing it. But basically this would uh, actually darken or undarken the background. So if it's not working, just click on apply, uh, go back to spotting, turn it on and off again. It's a little bug here, but uh, basically this is where you can uh, make the uh, background or the overlay of the uh, um, gray line darker or less dark, okay? So that's uh, basically it. I hope this is useful. I try to be within the eight minute mark. I'm succeeding. 70 trees, take care. And uh, sorry for my black fan dark face, but it's still November. So we try to keep the mood of, uh, um, yeah, uh, November mood uh, in the videos. 70 trees, ON7, OFF, going QRT, and see you soon again.